I'm glad I know who Jesus is. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. He's more than a story. He is the King of glory. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. Sing with me. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. He's more than a story. He is the King of glory. And I'm glad I know who Jesus is. Give the Lord a hand clap today. So glad I know who he is. Amen. Amen. So many, as we've talked this week, so many people don't. Amen. 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 So many people don't know him. Hallelujah. So many people deceived. You know, when Jesus was sitting up there on the mount, his disciples came to him and they said, Lord, tell us what will be the sign of your coming. I don't have this on my notes, but open your Bibles to Matthew. Oh, hallelujah. I believe it's Matthew, the 25th chapter. Get over there and we'll see if that's what it's at. Matthew 24, 3. <clears throat> that's where I was at to start with, but it's there. And he set up on the Mount of Olives. The Bible says that his disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world. Father, we thank you tonight for your spirit that we felt, for your word, for your precious anointing that destroys every yoke. Father, we thank you right now. God, we ask you to open our hearts and our minds and our ears to hear your word. Lord, at the seat of Your Word, Lord, that we know we will not return void. You promised us that in Your Word. Let that seed be planted in our heart. Let it take roots downward and bear fruit upward, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Give me see you. Here we see Jesus <clears throat> sitting on the mount. His disciples come to Him privately. And they ask Him this question. Tell us, what, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Now I want you to notice tonight. What's the very first thing that Jesus tells them? Now remember, they're asking for a sign. They didn't even say signs. They said, what will be the sign? Say, Brother Billy, how do you know that we're close to the end of time? How do you know that we're close to the calling away of the church? How do you know that we're close to a time whenever, you know, and I know that the, 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 the uh, prosperity preachers don't like for us to talk about this, but Jesus said that there is coming tribulation like never has been before, nor ever shall be again. Amen? That's His words. Amen. It's never been this bad before. Now, you, you folks in there, especially you older folks, probably been through some rough times. Some of you been through the depression. Amen? Some of you been through the oppression. Yeah. Some of you have been through some rough times, amen? But that was nothing to be compared to what lies, lays in store in the future for this world. Because there is coming a great tribulation period. Come on, man. Amen? amen. Yeah. I don't know how much of it exactly. The church, I know the church is, um, is going to be seeing the beginning of sorrows. I don't know how bad it will get. It may have to get bad enough at least to get the church ready. Come on, man. Amen? Amen? It might have to get bad, and I don't know how much of it we're going to see. I know we won't be here for all of it. Amen? But I don't know how bad things are going to get. It might have to get bad to get people ready. Amen. Come on, man. Do you remember how much our congressmen and our president and everybody wanted to pray whenever the terrorists hit us on September the 23rd? Amen? Yeah. yeah. And it shook them up. It shook them up. Amen? September 11th. It shook them up when the terrorists attack. When they flew the Twin Towers into, they, threw, they flew the jets, the airplanes, into the Twin Towers, 
And they had one of them headed toward Washington, I guess, for the White House. And some people sacrificed their lives to bring it down. But do you remember the important thing I'm trying to get to? How much everybody wanted to pray? And how much everybody wanted to talk about God? How much everybody wanted to, That's you know, right. they, they gathered around yeah, the, right. on the steps of the yeah, Capitol, right. you know, and yeah. they all sang Amazing Grace and, oh, thy Savior and all of this. They, they, they talked about our Savior, thy God, near to thee is where we want to be. And your amazing grace, how sweet the sound. And, oh, God, what a mighty God you are. We call upon your name during this time of trial. It didn't take probably six months till they forgot all about that. That's right. Amen. That's right. They went right back to the rebellious, stiff neck ways. But listen, there's a time coming that it's going to hit so hard they ain't going to be able to forget it in six months. Amen. Right. The Bible says that the, the worst part of the tribulation period is going to be three and a half years. Yeah. Amen. And that there's going to be hailstones, 90 plus pounds. Uh, there's going to be poison water. There's going to be disease. There's going to be locusts. There's going to be all of this judgment that God is pouring out upon the earth. And if you ain't ready, you got that to look forward to. Amen. 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 And like I said, I don't know how much we'll have to get go through to get ready because I don't believe the church is ready. No. I don't believe the church is ready. No. Amen. We don't have enough preachers preaching the truth for one thing. We don't have enough saints uh, that are willing to accept the truth for another thing. Amen. Amen. Come on. Find the church that's preaching the truth and trying to build something on the Word of God and don't water it down and don't dilute it. You ain't going to find no 5,000 people. That's right. Amen. Amen. You ain't going to find no 5,000 people. Jesus didn't have the crowd when He started preaching it hard. Amen. One time He turned to His disciples after a bunch of them had walked away because He said a hard thing. And He turned to them and He said, Will you two go away? Yeah. How many people appreciate Simon Peter? Amen. Yeah. I know He fell down. I know He scraped His knees. I know that He had some trouble. But thank God He turned to Him and said, Lord, to whom shall we go? You alone have the words of eternal life. Amen. Amen. We ain't got nobody else to turn to. We ain't got nobody else to go to. You're the only one. You're the only one. Church, he's still the only one. Amen. You can turn to the left. You can turn to the right. He's still the only one that has the words of eternal life. Hallelujah. You won't find it nowhere else. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. So I don't think church is ready. Amen. I hope I'm wrong. I don't think church is ready. Because as soon as tribulation, what we call tribulation, but compared to some things that ain't really, but as soon as tribulation hits, the crowd gets thin, amen? That's right. We're going to find out in these last days who's standing for Jesus and who ain't standing for Jesus, amen? Praise you, man. That's it, brother. I got all excited in Northbrook, Kentucky one night, and there was a cup of water sitting there. I don't know how many people in here has ever seen one of them old time preachers grab that cup of water and throw it out across the congregation. Amen. Well, I had the foolish audacity to believe that these people believed in old time Pentecost and that they wouldn't get offended. Amen? <laughs> that they'd been raised in the fire like I had been uh, and the smoke don't satisfy. Amen? That's right. Come on. So I grabbed the glass of water and I threw it. Everybody in the church house got mad at me. <laughs> there was about four ounces, wasn't even a cup, about four ounces of water in that cup that I had. Four ounces of water, and I threw it out across that congregation. It hit everybody. <laughs> it hit everybody right smack dab in the face. Amen. Amen. Their mascara was running. Oh, yeah. Amen. They got it in their hair and messed up their gel and their moose. Not you, brother. That stuff they put in your hair and then they're sticking down. Chicken cream. Chicken cream. Yeah, yeah you know that little dab of doo that stuff, all that Brillo cream uh, stuff they used to use? Yeah, Amen. Cream. And it hit everybody. And you know what I told them? I went around saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I didn't really. I'm going to tell you what I told The early church survived the fire and the flood. Amen. This bunch of sissies we got today can't take four ounces of water. Amen. 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 That's all it took to off. Four ounces of water. Do you know what I really believe happened? I believe when it was in my hand, it was four ounces. I believe as it was released, God multiplied that water. 